projects done. I could always get more done, but I have had such a lovely summer just thinking about the fall, the fall knitting, wearing all my sweaters, wearing all the things, and had the best time. So I wanted to spend a little time with you today showing you some of my stash acquisitions. And you know, I sometimes I spread my stash acquisitions out. You know, sometimes I get them a little early, sooner, a little later, but I just wanted to show you a few items here today on the channel and then show you some of the giveaway items. If you're confused by that, I wanted to let you know I have a Patreon account. So if you go to www.patreon.com slash christyglassknits, you can see the Patreon account there and people who are a part of my community who rely on me for their education and their entertainment, mostly I hope entertainment because I'm not that smart, um, who rely on this channel for their fun and a, a a slice of the knitting world or the fiber world, those who rely on that uh, give back. Give back to me by way of patronizing my channel. So you can donate from $1 all the way up to $22. Actually, I think you can set any amount you want, but I have different categories. And then each level of giving has a number of giveaways throughout the year. So the Yarnorama, which is the $6 level, has two giveaways a year. And in addition to a chance to win a prize, there are also coupon codes that go on blog posts. There are secret videos, including the Andrea Untangled video is up there. There are also chances to get in on something maybe ahead of everyone else. If it, something will drop a few days before, the whole public can get it or you get a discount. So for example, I recently published a tutu, mohair tutu pattern, and I gave a discount of 50% off to that tutu to my Patreon and many people who work with me are willing to give a patreon discount which is really exciting for all of us to be able to help and build up each other so this month for the Yarnorama I have some goodies to give away but let's start with my stash positions I just have a few things to show you here today first of all I want to lead out with my Chelsea Lux yarn Earlier this spring, I made a ranunculus sweater and I would love to make another one. I always say I will make something again, but then often I don't, so I can't promise. But the plan is to make a second ranunculus sweater and this is with the chocolate chip mint colorway, which I have had my eye on forever. There was a birds of a feather chocolate chip mint kit at Nitty City that I kept picking up and putting down and I finally just got a kit for the ranunculus because two skeins is much less intimidating than three or four and together with that 10 needle and that pattern, it's just gonna be so beautiful in that short sleeve ranunculus, if I ever get around to it. But this is Chelsea Lux hand dyed yarn, which is dyed in Red Bank, New Jersey through the Chelsea Yarns store. Christina does it, this is MCN. This is Mohair Silk, so I'm so excited about this combo. I also made a visit to the Mulberry Hill Farm where there is the, the yarn line Distal Fink. So this is farm raised in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. I have here this two ply DK in Romney Border Lester in the natural brown. And I have three skeins of this. And then I want to pair it with this one which is the Barbados in Olivia. And I have a pattern in mind, I believe it's from Knit Picks and I don't know the name of it right now but it's it will be a brown sweater with color work on the bottom and I believe it's a forest scape, like pine trees. So I think that will be really fun for some color work. I hope to cast this on maybe around the holidays or winter time. I think it's gonna be such a stunning sweater. I love using farm yarn for color work. I love supporting local farms and local dyers. Distal Fink also has a hand dyed yarn portion of their offerings. It's not only farm yarn, in fact, most of their yarn is hand dyed by Megan, who is the daughter of the, the couple who own the farm. Speaking of them, Megan's mother, she has a whole treasure trove of finished crafts that she has handmade, but also this dyed wool. So there's all different measurements of what you can purchase. I just got a little bundle because I thought it would be fun for applique or other crafts and I was so drawn to these gorgeous colors. And of course I love wool in any form and here I have a new form to work with. So I got this at their 
farm shop which is right on the property of the farm and you'll see underneath, underneath this video I will link to our little farm tour there. We toured the farm and the dye studio and the shop, all three, and it's just a lovely little spot in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. If you find yourself going by way of Carlisle, I highly recommend making an appointment to shop at the farm shop. It's by appointment only simply because it's their home and it's their farm and I know they will try everything they can to accommodate you. Also, they have many different showings at different fiber festivals, so you can maybe see it in person that way. The dad, Megan's dad, I think his name is Sean, he carves, and I've witnessed him carving at Maryland Sheep and Wool because as they're having customers come in and out of the booth, he's sitting and waiting you know, between checking out customers and he carves. So he has gorgeous carvings in the shop, but I picked up this little black sheep pin because I thought it was so beautiful. This is a mushroom. Yes, a toadstool from Brooklyn General. Inside are stitch markers. And this is a funny story because you may, some of you may have remembered seeing a similar product from Brooklyn General that was an acorn. And the acorn, I was so excited about it that I was talking about it ad nauseum during my Vogue Knitting Live guide. I think it was 2018. So when I was making my guide to Vogue Knitting Live for 2019, Catherine told me that she would have the mushroom stitch markers again. I took that as, oh, she has a new product, mushrooms. She meant to type acorns, but because she typed mushrooms, I said mushrooms and people went to get them and they weren't there because they didn't exist. So because of this typo, now there is a toadstool mushroom of stitch markers that exists. I love that. I love stories like that. So much fun. So this is from Brooklyn General. If you'd like to get your hands on one, please contact them. It might be on their website or you may have to just call the store. So let's move on to some giveaway items for this month for the $6 level of, um, of, give, of people, of, of patrons. So I have just a couple little things here that I'm gonna give out. Um, and you know, I get, I get, I'm given a lot of things over the years and months, and so I cannot, I could never knit through all of it. So I save it to give to you, and I'm really, I'm really excited about this. So let's start with the books. I have a book, Little Man Knits. This you may have seen during Manch. The author Alex Capshaw Taylor was on my channel, so I will link to her interview underneath this video so you can watch it. It's so adorable. She has sons, and that inspired her making this book. That's going to one of you. Also, Nomadic Knits, I think I've already plugged this, but I didn't give this away and I was meant to. So this is the Florida issue and I'm very thrilled because, this is their first issue and I know they have more now, but I'm thrilled because the Nomadic Knits ladies are going to be on my channel, I hope, this fall. So we're gonna really get to know them and you get to have this book. I've had this for a while and I haven't given it away yet, but it's one of these gorgeous frames from Paige the Framer. So if you follow the Grocery Girls, Jody has her Mrs. Brown's bags line and she has a lot of waste from cutting the fabric. So Paige, I believe, purchases the waste and then makes them into frames. Isn't that so smart? I know we as knitters love that. Reuse, reuse, reuse. So this is a frame for one of my lucky patrons. I'm gonna give this away. The toadstool. I think it needs to go to one of you. So I have the toadstool, the mushroom stitch marker kit here. And to pair with that, I have two tiny little stitch markers that also have little toadstools on them. Also from Brooklyn General. And I think her, I think it's Make Supply Company, which is sort of her little product line there at Brooklyn General. So I love the Make Supply Company scissors and she has a beautiful Clark bag and just just beautiful things at, at that shop that she has developed on her own, so I really love supporting Brooklyn General. I have some stitch markers for you. So I have three sets of, I believe there are 10 stitch markers on here, of owl stitch markers. I actually made these myself. I didn't really make them, I, I put them together. I, made, I, I gave them new life, so these are 10 stitch markers of owls, and these are from the Harry Potter baby shower that I hosted. So I have three sets of these to give to three of you. And what I love about these is that it gives you a connection to an activity or to a video that I had, and I'll link to that video underneath here as well. The baby shower was such a fun idea. We had 
all the knitters there knitting things for baby. It was a Harry Potter theme, thus the owls. So hopefully three of you will enjoy those stitch markers and be able to think of that when you use them. Inside these project bags, speaking of Brooklyn, I have a Brooklyn um, knit along project bag here that I'm gonna put some yarn in for you and then an Argyle yarn shop project bag as well. So it's a little bit of a Brooklyn theme happening today. So inside those bags, one bag is gonna, well they're each gonna have a Trayliss skein of yarn. So this is a Trayliss, this is called Papa Don't Preach, 100% Superwash Merino, fingering weight yarn. So Papa Don't Preach is so epic. It's going into the Argyle Yarn Shop bag for one of you. And then the other one is called Seal Skin. I think this is Seal Skin. Same weight, fingering weight yarn. So bright, so epic. So that one's going into this Brooklyn Cowl bag for one of you. This is a skein of Chelsea Lux hand dyed yarn. Now this is very special because this is the Christy Glass Chelsea style yarn. I She gave me, I believe, four skeins of this, but I'm only gonna need three for the project that I'm working on. So I'm giving away my fourth skein. This is probably never gonna be repeated again. I think she only made four skeins to begin with. So this, this is a really, really unique, fun gift. So this is going to one of you, 400 yards of the Christy Glass Chelsea style Superwash Merino Chelsea Lux skein. And then I have this skein, which I believe is from Knit Crate, and I don't know why I have this skein. I don't know why it's out of the crate, and I don't know why there isn't a label. So you're just gonna have to trust me that this is a beautiful, squishy, dyed, beautiful yarn commissioned, designed by Knit Crate. And you can enjoy that with some items that I got at Brooklyn Craft Co. I told you this was about Brooklyn. So these are a pair of scissors and a measuring tape both from Brooklyn Craft Co. I love them. I have a set for myself as well because I could not get over how cute these flowers are. So this will be a gift together since I don't have the info on this yarn. I thought it was only fair to have it be like a double gift. That does it for this month's stash acquisitions in August. If you stayed this long to watch, thank you so very much again for being my patron and for considering joining the Patreon. It means the world to me. It helps me to travel and bring you more content. It helps this be my job instead of just my hobby. I spend all the hours in my day working on this for you, for me, for all of us because we all benefit because we love fiber so much. Thank you for being here, especially taking a break during your summer to come spend some time with me and I will see you next time on Christy Glass Knits. Bye!